Greetings humans! In today's video, we're going to see how this diagram can help you choose the right chart for your data visualizations. Let's dive in. Some charts work better than others at displaying certain types of information. For example, if you are trying to show change over time, you could use a pie chart, and technically it is showing how the values reduce over the years. But using a pie chart is a suboptimal way of showing this to humans. Whereas a line chart would work a lot better, as your audience's brain can spot the insights and trends far more easily. Now this was a simple example, as you probably make these decisions instinctively for a lot of your charts already. But sometimes your squishy human brains get confused and find it hard to choose the optimal chart for the situation. Thankfully for you, I have found this diagram created by Andrew Avila at ExtremePresentations.com. It's designed to help you choose the most effective chart when displaying information to your audience. You start off by asking yourself the initial question, what would you like to show with your data? Comparisons, relationships, distributions, or compositions? For example, if you would like to show a relationship between three variables, then a bubble chart is a good choice. Another example could be if you want to show distribution of a single variable with few data points, then a column histogram is probably the best way to go. I say probably, as this diagram is only meant to be a guide. Try not to use this as a definitive set of rules. Andrew even titled this diagram as a thought starter for this very reason. You know your data and your audience is the best, so choose the chart you feel would work best for them. So the next time you get stuck working out which chart you should use, be sure to check out this diagram to help you out. Thanks for watching. A link to this chart chooser diagram is in the description box below. If you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time.